Hello, AUHSU students. This is Denise Martinez from Catella High School. This week's COVID-19 projects come from South Junior High School and Catella High School. These projects will include TED Talks, photography, slideshows, data analysis, and so much more, so stay tuned for that. Have a great week, AUHSD, and stay safe. On January 19, 2020, the first U.S. case was reported in Washington State. Mitigation measures were introduced in mostly Washington State and later California as the disease spread slowly and unnoticed throughout the United States. By March 13, 2020, when the Anaheim Union High School District closed schools following the governor's directive, there were only 1,678 reported cases and a death tally of 41. Today, that number stands at 1,304,142 total cases and 77,663 deaths and counting. This COVID capstone project is a student-focused endeavor to explore how the coronavirus is affecting the life of students at both South Junior High and Catella High School. Our teachers designed different multi-genre projects asking our students to use the five C's creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, communication, and character to produce presentations, memoirs, journals, chronicles, reports, review texts, and publications, etc. These projects were submitted in different methods, such as Schoolology, Flipgrid, Google Docs, iMovies, Turnitin, and other 21st century platforms. Here's how the coronavirus has affected our lives. How is the coronavirus affecting your life? It's affecting my life in many ways, some of them by not socializing with other people, as in my friends, and not being able to go out even for small walks, and it's very difficult on getting my homework done. How has school being shut down affected you? Me personally, I feel like there's a lot of pros and cons to it. Um, I don't know. It's like the pros would be that you don't have to walk from place to place, uh, you don't even have to be in school, you can wake up whenever you like. Cons though, uh, you have to really be on top of things and check your Gmail and Schoolology. My new learning environment is my house. Um, basically my living room or my room, it doesn't really matter, wherever I feel most comfortable. But as long as I can get my work done, that's all that really matters. What's up everybody? Uh, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing really well. Um, COVID-19 hasn't really done much to me. You know, I've been fine. Uh, you know, I've, I've had to do more work lately and it's been boring sometimes, but it's not as bad as it could be, you know? Um, learning online has been a little stressful because I'm not really used to it, but I'm getting the hang of it slowly, but um, it's not been as bad as it is. Could be. Make sure that you're setting routines for yourself. It's really useful to make a schedule and just to make sure that you're waking up at the same time every day, getting enough sleep, getting enough food, and just keeping the same pace so once again you don't overwhelm yourself. And here are the best ways I have fun at home. And here's my wake up. I enjoy painting and drawing. Here's my finished product. Right here, and I hope you guys like it. Hello there, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys try this out, and stay safe and stay home. Do your homework as well. Hand sanitizer, you are gonna be needing some aloe vera, grabbing alcohol, a cup, a spoon, Like this. Over the past 20 days, the two main C's I think I used the most was collaboration and creativity. 
I think I used collaboration because I would work with my friends virtually and talk about what pictures we would use for each day. I would also collaborate with my siblings because they would also give me ideas of what pictures to use as well. I also think I used creativity because for each day I would try my best to do something new instead of just doing the same thing every day. For example, instead of just eating cereal for breakfast, we would go out to the store and buy ingredients to make waffles and we would make up together. Overall, I think this project was a success. It definitely brought my family and I closer and it also helped me stay productive and not just lay in bed the entire day. As students battle the social, emotional, and psychological effects of this novel virus, they have continued to exhibit great resilience in the midst of this once-in-a-lifetime challenge. What started out with dark clouds and uncertainty, we are finding new ways to connect with families, friends, teachers, and the world, creating unlimited ways to share kindness and compassion.